So for the longest time I've been quite amazed by how in-depth some of these games can get. Talk about games like Abzu with their immersiveness and the beauty that is created by the environment and talk about games like Journey whereby you get this totally different kind of immersion with the beautiful atmospherics, the beautiful song and you know everything in general the graphics are great very beautifully programmed with everything that a gamer would ever want okay that's just from my perspective because most of the other gamers would love playing you know the hypest games but i i totally love how these games can bring out the emotion and invoke some certain kind of depth in the player and so i've always been trying to achieve such kind of immersion but uh, majorly on the web and it's not been very good so uh, for the past couple of say years or months I've been trying to level up my skills with a library called 3JS and trying to leverage its power so that I can create such immersion immersion yeah so that I can create such immersion on the web and yeah it's been quite a journey and so after a while I came up with an idea of creating an infinite runner game with 3JS and so here's how everything kind of started. So in the first phase I just started off with trying to create infinite spawning tiles and it was quite trivial, it wasn't that hard and so I had to move on to the next step which was adding player controls and uh, you know the player can jump up the player can move to the left the player can move to the right yeah you know the basic controls but you know it suddenly hit me i don't know i have no idea of what i'm doing and it's so yeah so bad don't have any idea very clueless yeah very clueless and you know, well, after a while I thought, let me try out Blender. I'm so bad with creating 3D models anyway, so yeah, I quickly opened up Blender and tried to do some uh, game object modeling. So very quickly I just added some levels and added some buildings, tried to do some quick optimization so that the final game objects can be very optimized for the game and so added some textures added some quick lighting did some updates here and there and you know the very basic stuff that people do when they are trying to create the game objects and so here is kind of the whole uh, scenario i hope you enjoy how it all went i'll be meeting you <laughs> over close to the end and Try not to laugh that hard because yeah it's quite a mess but i finally got it working okay so enjoy So I know some of you might want the source code, I'll be uploading it to my Patreon, the lower tier in case you want a full tutorial on how I made the game, I'll be putting it on the higher tier and that entirely depends on the turn up and yeah if you um, if you like uh, 3JS videos I'll be uploading more often maybe from now henceforth and yeah you can follow me on Twitter, subscribe and if you like this content yeah, it would be very much if you can like it and hit that bell icon. I'll be meeting you in the next videos. And that's it for this one. Bye bye.